Moving to a new area can be difficult and sometimes you just need that local insight to help guide you. And that's why I'm here. We'll talk about some of the best areas and help narrow down the options for the perfect place to live. When searching for a home, there is a ton of different criteria to consider, but first, let's just start off with the age of the home and the yard size. Is a home that's a little bit older, maybe something that's 40, 50 years old, something you're considering, or do you prefer newer homes? Then secondly, how big of a yard do you want? Are you okay with something smaller that's close to neighbors, or do you want a big gap and a buffer between you and your neighbor? Then we need to factor in your budget. For example, if you're looking under $300,000 for an older home but a larger yard, here's what you could expect to find. Most of the homes that meet your criteria are gonna be in this part of town. This part of Northwest Gainesville is really known for all of the trees, parks, and playgrounds. Here you have Possum Creek Park with the playground and skate park. Then down Millhopper Road, you've got Devil's Millhopper Park, which is a beautiful area with over 130 steps down to the bottom of the sinkhole. Now here, a little bit further down the road, you've got San Falasco Park with miles of walking trails and biking trails. Then you could also visit Alfred Ring Park if you want to search for shark teeth in the creek beds. Now this part of Gainesville will feel a little bit older, but not like the historic type of old, more like mid 80s old. There are a lot of small office complexes, some apartments, and a few small shopping strips over here. Another nice thing about this side of town is gonna be that there's usually less traffic. Of course, some roads will back up during school zones and peak times, but for the most part, it's really easy to get around over here. One potential downside to this northwest part of town is you're gonna be a little bit further away from the majority of shopping and dining that Gainesville has to offer. Depending on exactly where you're coming from, it could take up to 30 minutes just to get over to Archer Road if you're trying to get to Target, Whole Foods, and everything else Butler Plaza has to offer. Now, when it comes to neighborhoods on this part of town, a few to consider are gonna be Northwood Oaks, Spring Tree, and Hazel Heights. So the majority of homes over here were built in the 70s and 80s, and the lot sizes are gonna be about a third of an acre with mature, fully developed landscaping. Another thing to consider is most of these neighborhoods do not have HOAs. No matter where you live, another important factor to consider are gonna be the nearby schools. Of course, it will depend on the specific home location, and you'll always wanna verify zoning with the school board, but the primary schools in this area are gonna be Talbot Elementary, Norton Elementary, Littlewood Elementary, Glen Springs Elementary, Westwood Middle, and Buholtz High School. Now, before jumping onto the next section of town, I will mention over in Northwest Gainesville, you can live here and completely forget that you're in a university town. Now let's change the criteria a little bit. Say you prefer newer homes, maybe something that's built within the last 20 years and your budget's over $400,000. Now the majority of homes that meet that criteria are gonna be west of I-75. Let's take a closer look to what you can expect if you were to live in that part of town. This is gonna be a popular area because there are so many great things nearby. You've got Butler Plaza, Celebration Point, and all the other shopping and dining along Archer Road. And then you're only gonna be about 10, maybe 15 minutes of a commute to the University of Florida. But that can also lead to the primary headache in this area, which is gonna be traffic. If you're traveling east to west in the morning or west to east in the evening, you're definitely gonna expect traffic on all of the major roads. Now let's look at the schools on this side of town. There are both some great public and private schools over here. So when it comes to public schools on this side of town, you've got Hidden Oak Elementary, Meadowbrook Elementary, Twilliger Elementary, Childs Elementary, Wiles Elementary, and then Kanapaw Middle School and Fort Clark Middle School. This part of town also has some very popular private schools in Oak Hall, The Rock, Queen of Peace, and St. Francis High School. Now this part of town is where you can expect to find newer homes, like the extremely well-established Hale Plantation. But this neighborhood is popular for its miles of walking trails, Hawkstone Golf Course, and the Hale Village. Now, if you're looking for brand new homes or recently developed communities, this area has a lot to offer. You've got neighborhoods like Oakmont, Lugano, Longleaf, Arbor Greens, and of course, Town of Tioga. For example, Oakmont is one of Gainesville's newest neighborhoods where they are still building homes today. 
They have great amenities between the clubhouse, swimming pool, tennis courts, and fitness center, which again makes the neighborhood extremely popular. Then if you go just a little bit further west, you've got Town of Tioga, which many would consider one of the most beautiful neighborhoods in the area. The great thing about this area is even though they're all brand new homes, there are no two homes alike. There is definitely a wide range of architectural styles here. Overall, it's just a beautiful setting in this area with the mature landscaping, the great walking trails that lead you up to Tioga Town Center with its great boutiques, coffee shops, and restaurants. So again, when it comes to new construction, the majority of neighborhoods are definitely being built west of I-75, even out towards Newberry. So what you'll wanna do next is watch this video where I share with you some of the most popular neighborhoods in even more detail.